All right, Zia Caraval from ZK Research here, and I'm back at the Worldwide Technology Stand inside the World of Solutions at Cisco Live uh, 2023 in Las Vegas. And I'm joined now by Drew Kaiser, who's a technical solution architect uh, for WWT, but in the area of security. So, uh, security guru, how's that a good way to talk? Yeah. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Yeah. How are you doing today, Zeus? Good. So we're going to talk uh, all things cyber, and we're going to talk a little bit of cyber range. Uh, before we start, though, why don't we just talk about what's going on in security? It seems like we fight this fight every year. I see market research reports, companies are spending billions of dollars on security, but we're falling behind, right? So uh, what's happening in security that's making it so hard to keep up today? Well, I mean, it's a cat and mouse race. You're constantly changing to adapt to new technologies that are coming out. In addition, you're also adapting to two new techniques. So MITRE's attack framework is starting to standardize a lot of those techniques, but you have different industries and different verticals that are needing a lot of different protections across the board. So it's a challenging landscape to get uniformity across the board. Yeah, and I do think one of the big changes in cyber, though, is the the bad guys have gotten so much smarter, right? And so they're evading firewalls and a lot of the places business used to spend a lot of their security budgets aren't the places they're attacking now, correct? Well, not only that, they're yeah. getting commercialized too. Yeah. You have ransomware as a service now. You have VoIP spoofing as a service. So they're tying in like um, some of the advanced things that we can do with ChatGPT, and then they're making it sound like realistic voices with some of the augmentation that you can do with AI. So VoIPing or voice spoofing is very pow powerful now, and they're getting a lot of sensation kickback. Um, and honestly, they're getting a lot of money yeah. out of it as well. Someone says, you know, hey, wire this to uh, this account, and it sounds exactly like your boss. It's, it even has the same dialect. How are you going to differentiate that? It's a tricky scenario to really navigate nowadays. Yeah, I talked to a friend of mine who was the CEO, he's the CEO of a reseller, actually. They, they do a lot of security business, and uh, he, they had an email spoof go to his CFO asking for like a thousand bucks in Apple gift cards to give to customers. And uh, the only thing that prevented that was the CFO knew this guy hates Apple. So he's <laughs> called, are you sure you want Apple gift cards? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's, that kind of thing is very commonplace today, isn't it? Where people are getting emails and text messages and voice calls from people they think they know, but it's, intent, but it's indeed a fraudster. Yeah. And you have exploits on top of like phishing campaigns to really make it an interesting landscape because not only are you having updates that are constantly happening that you have to keep on top of, but there's new attack verticals and vectors that are coming into play as well. Yeah. So it's always changing. And that's really the fun thing about security for me. It always is a constant uh, wheel that you gotta keep moving. Otherwise, you know, it just, fall behind a little bit. Yeah, and I know the, the tagline for worldwide technology at the event here is make a new world happen. And that's happening largely through the deployment of a lot of new digital technologies. We're moving into the cloud, we're moving things mobile, we're moving workers to home, right? So we're digitizing everything uh, and we're evolving everything, but in a lot of ways we need to keep security in lockstep with that, correct? Because I'm, I'm not sure we've done a great job of that. No, we haven't. Yeah. And a lot of that goes to how prominent is the security solution for the customer or for the environment. So for example, we have some customers that are getting CISOs on the C-level and they're part of the board, they're making decisions, they have good structure, they have good frameworks. Some customers, not so much. Sometimes there's difficulties there, there's challenges, and that's really where WWT can help augment a lot of these capabilities for those security teams. So, yeah, so talk about that. So sure. I know I know WWE has uh, your advanced technology center. Yeah, you've got all these other resources available for people that need to reskill or learn. How can they leverage these assets? Yeah, so the Advanced Technology Center is a great resource. It's been around for quite a while. It has on-demand labs, so you can t test something right then and there inside the ATC. And people can access it right from the front page, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And all it needs is a login, so you're not looped into anything too crazy uh, financial-wise. You can just look at the solution, see how it works, see how it integrates. That's the real power of WWT, is that cross-integration and how different things pull together. If you want to expand on that, there's proof of concept. So we can go in and actually do testing on those solutions and how they work and make sure they're right for your environment. 
And then even further beyond that, there's Lab as a Service. So Lab as a Service really gets that service and keeps the lab in a holistic state so you can use it for continual testing of your environment. So if you want to try and add solutions, remove solutions, or mix it up a little bit, that's a great way of testing without going into production or pilot sites. And how does the Cyber Range fit into the ATC? The Cyber Range is a newer offering, but it's a powerful one too. So we're actually enhancing a lot of the security teams, red team and blue team exercises. So we're helping with the response capabilities and we're helping tool up a lot of those security teams through the Advanced Technology Center. So everything is inside of WWT and we have scenarios. We have blue team protection scenarios and we have red team penetration scenarios. We also have options for customizing these scenarios to whatever fits your uh, budget or your scope inside your environment. So a lot of what these are doing is helping to tool up and train real world scenarios for these uh, security resources to make sure that they are excelling when the time comes that they actually need to respond to these attacks. And I think the key word you said there was the R word, the response, because uh, I think often, I've always said that uh, with all these detection response tools, a lot of them do a really good job at the detection, not so great at the response, right? And that's, if, yeah, and uh, I read somewhere that uh, uh, when malware enters a company, the lifespan, it, it's typically almost uh, something like 77 days before it's discovered. Mm -hmm. And so that dwell time can cause an enormous amount of damage. Oh, absolutely. It's not a matter of if you're getting attacked, it's when. Yeah. And most companies don't realize how deep their environments are or where malware is inside those environments. And that's a tricky scenario to navigate. So a lot of that goes down to visibility and some of the tool sets there, but in other parts of it go down to the resources and the teams themselves and able to see those alerts that are coming across and recognizing them for true threats. So if people want to get started, what's the, uh, how can they go about doing that? So if you want to get started on the cyber range, head over to WWT and then check out our cyber range offering there. There's a bunch of different opportunities for training and uh, modularizing that program to fit your, co your company needs and to make sure that all of your resources are getting that appropriate training. And so, and so what is Learning Pass? So Learning Pass is a modularized approach to learning. We're actually taking different modules that we have, 70, 75 plus of them, that just for starters, and then piecing them together in almost like a Lego brick format to customize a training regimen and a learning path for particular customers. So there's tests that are involved and certifications, a lot more to come on it, but we're excited about that as well. Yeah, well there's a lot of new technology coming in the area of security. So, so I think a lot of these learning programs can help uh, bridge that gap. In fact, I, I read all the time about the skills gap that security has, right? Where there's millions of engineers needed. And so uh, it would seem uh, from an engineer perspective, this, uh, the skills refresh they need is something that they can do through you guys. You got to yeah. keep moving. Yeah. That's the security yeah. world. Yeah. So that's the new world and we're helping make it happen. All right, well, uh, now that we've sufficiently scared everybody <laughs> into knowing that there's more breaches coming in more places that you can't really keep up with, uh, do check out the uh, WWT uh, uh, Cyber Range, Learning Path, uh, ATC. I think those are full of great resources. On behalf of Drew Kaiser, I'm Zias Caravalla from ZK Research, uh, saying thanks for watching.